What's up? It's your boy Austin Rutherford back here again where we talk business, finance, and real estate. Today we're talking about wholesaling houses, but specifically how to get your buyers walkthroughs of the property. You know, this is something that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people only talk about the front side of the deal. So getting the property in contract, sending out the marketing, analyzing the deal, making the cash offers, getting the sellers to sign the agreements. That's what a lot of people talk about, but they forget the other side of this, the buyers and the buyer walkthroughs. So that's what we're talking about here today. I've had deals blow up in my face many times over when I finally got a buyer interested because I didn't set the proper expectations with the seller. So normally, for most people, the process of wholesaling a house is send out marketing, get in contact with the seller, make an offer, sign the agreement, you and or your representatives go to the property and get pictures of the house. You then use those pictures to market the deal to your buyer. You get a buyer that's interested in the property. They need a walkthrough to buy the house. They gotta put their own eyeballs on it. You call the seller and try and find, you know, make up some lie of why that your buyer needs a walkthrough of the property. Usually the seller was like, no, you already saw it once. Why do you need to see it again? And then all of a sudden you have this great deal, but you can't get buyers through it and you can't sell it. So you can't make any money. I've lost deals in that same exact scenario many times before, but we changed the entire process of how we wholesale deals and how we set the proper expectations with the sellers. So we never run into that problem anymore. First things, if you want to eliminate the process of your buyer having to go through the property, in the first place, there is a way of doing that. Buyers do buy properties sight unseen with a few caveats. You wanna hire somebody that actually knows about construction, that maybe is an inspector already. So when they walk through the property, they can look at foundation problems, plumbing problems, electric problems, HVAC problems, all those things. And they also take you know 150 pictures of the property. So like when I buy houses, I'll buy houses without personally walking through it or any of my representatives walking through it if we have pictures of every nook and every cranny of the house. So when you hire an inspector, tell them to take a picture from literally every corner of every room of everything in the entire house, 100, 150 pictures. If there's a problem, there's a foundation problem, take 30 pictures just of that. If there's a leak in a plumbing, take 30 pictures just of that. Because when a buyer goes to do it, if there's no pictures of it, guess what? They need to walk it themselves and they're gonna see it in the first place. But if you are overly transparent and you show everything that's going on and all the issues about it, guess what? Buyers will start to trust you and then buyers will start to buy properties from you sight unseen just off of your pictures. So like I said, like me personally, I will buy just off of pictures if you're 100% transparent with me and if you have pictures of everything. Real cash buyers will buy houses without ever having to personally walk through the property. So we wholesale and I buy a lot of properties from wholesalers. So if a wholesaler sends me a deal and it's got like 10 pictures of the property and no pictures of the basement, guess what? I'm probably not gonna buy it just off of pictures. I'm gonna have to go see it myself. Somebody sent us a deal, great deal. Looked phenomenal on pictures. They didn't have pictures of the basement. Yo man, you know, what's going on? What's going on with the basement? Oh man, you know, it's no issues down there. You know, this is a great property. All right, cool, set up an inspection. And then he gave us some hesitancy on setting up an inspection. We got to the property, we got to the basement. There's probably a $6,000 clean out just in the basement. It was full literally to the ceiling and half of the walls were bowed with foundation problems. So $6,000 clean out and a $6,000 structural fix. Oh yeah, the basement's cool, there's no issues. Of course, that's what a wholesaler is gonna say. So. If you have all the pictures, you're putting yourself in a very good position. If you don't have the pictures and you hide things, you're putting yourself in a very negative position. So the reason that you want buyers to buy the property without a second inspection, just offer your pictures, is because a lot of things can go wrong. A seller can just straight up tell you, no, you can't see the house. Let's say the property's tenant occupied. The seller doesn't want to disturb the tenant again. No, you can't go and see the house a second time. Let's say everything's perfect. You set up a walkthrough, seller's there to let you in, and then your buyers don't show up. That's a problem. Or let's say everything's perfect, seller's there, buyer shows up and it's like, hey seller, you know, so-and-so is actually wholesaling your house. I'll pay you more money, just sell the house to me. There's so many ways that a deal can go bad from having to have a walkthrough. I'm not saying don't do walkthroughs, it's part of the business, but if you can get people to buy houses without having to walk through the property, your life will be a whole lot easier. So the way that we set up our deals, we always assume that we need a second inspection. If we get somebody to buy just off of pictures, that's great, but we set it up to have expectations with two inspections. So what do we do? As soon as the seller signs the contract, our transaction coordinator calls the seller 
It's like, hey, Mr. Seller, congrats on selling your house. We're really excited to work with you. Just so you know what the next steps are. You know, here in the next 24 hours, we need to get out to the property and inspect the property and get pictures of the property to determine the condition of the property. You know, what time works best for you? Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.? So you're setting immediate expectation we need to get into the property ASAP. And then after our inspectors out to the property, you know, they'll send us back the pictures. It usually takes a couple days. Then we have to review the pictures and then we have to schedule our contractors to come out to the house. So, you know, there's usually a few days, you know, three to five days of time in between there. And then our contractors will come out to the property, second inspection. Our contractors will come out to the property, just walk through and make sure there's no abnormalities. You know, make sure there's nothing that you or I don't know about the condition of the property already. So you're setting it that expectation that you need a second walkthrough for your contractors. By the way, that second walkthrough is for your buyers, but you're setting the expectation that you're getting two walkthroughs from day one. And then, you know, after the contractors go through, they'll give us a call. And then, you know, I can usually let you know in the next 48 to 72 hours and we can schedule a closing date. How does that sound? Perfect. Sounds great. Awesome. We'll be there at 9 a.m. tomorrow for pictures. Keep in mind that entire conversation, as soon as we go into contract, we're setting the expectation, a very clear expectation that we need two walkthroughs of the property. But even with that, some sellers just straight up will say, you only get one walkthrough, period, point blank, no questions asked. So something like that, we will market the deal before having pictures and then we'll send our inspector to the house and then we'll send a couple very good buyers that we've worked with in the past to the house so we can get hopefully somebody to buy the deal day one. Or if not, we have pictures and we can still hopefully try and find another buyer. So if a house is vacant, we just tell people to go and see it. We put a lockbox on the door, super simple. Now, if it's tenant occupied or owner occupied, you gotta be careful here. You can't have 30 people go to the house because they're gonna be like, what in the world's going on here? So you need to vet your buyers. So before we send anybody to the property, we usually send three to four people to a walkthrough at the property. So if you get 40 people that are interested, you have to narrow it down to three or four very serious buyers. So you gotta get on the phone with those buyers and say, hey, you know, I'm just following up about this property. I know you wanna see it. You know, have you looked at the pictures? Well, yeah, I looked at the pictures. Okay, cool, so you saw the foundation problems. Oh, well, no, I didn't see the foundation problems. Well, look at the pictures and then send me your best offer based on the pictures. You wanna be overly clear with the condition of the property here. Because last thing you want is five people to go to the house and all five of them like, oh, I didn't know about so-and-so and we can't buy the house. And now you're screwed because you just wasted your inspection and you still don't have a buyer. So we make it abundantly clear the problems that are with the house and we make sure that they're still okay with the price. And we say, look, you know, I just wanna make sure here, you know, we blasted it out at $50,000, you know, pending you finding something in the house that's not disclosed on our pictures that we're not aware of, you know, 50 grand makes sense, right? You know, you're not gonna come back to me and be like, hey, you know, I can only pay 25 grand. I wanna make sure that we are accurate on our numbers before going to the property. Yeah, 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 I crunched my numbers, that should work. You know, I just wanna get eyeballs it on myself. Perfect, you know, next question, how are you buying the property? Are you using cash in the bank? Are you using private money? Are you using hard money? How are you financing the deal? If it's hard money, there can be an issue with that because it can get denied, they need an appraisal of the property, there could be a lot of issues. But if it's cash or private, that's usually pretty easy to work with. You know, so if they say cash or private, okay, cool. So, you know, you don't have an issue raising 50 grand to buy this house. No, no, that's not a problem at all. Okay, cool, you know, I'm gonna set up a walkthrough for, you know, Friday at two o'clock, whatever it is, and when you go to the property, you're going to be acting as a contractor. You know, you're not to talk to the seller. You're not to ask the seller any questions. You're not to speak to them at all. You just walk through the house, do your quick walkthrough inspection, you know, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, walk out of the property. Give me a call if you have any questions. We're going to have a representative of ours at the house to, you know, talk to the seller so you won't be bothered. So does that sound good? Sounds great. So that entire process, we set the expectation for two walkthroughs. The seller knows exactly what's going on. We talk to the buyer, we set the expectation that they're offering 50 grand, they know what it is, and we set the expectation that they're not supposed to talk to the seller. So if they try and talk to the seller, they're trying to go around us and cut us out of the deal, they'll get blacklisted. So we are very, very, very clear on our expectations when we're trying to wholesale houses. Like I said, I've been there, I've done that. I've had a lot of deals go south and I've lost a lot of money by not setting the proper expectations. The same exact things we just talked about, I didn't do that when I started, but guess how I learned? 
trial and error. You lose money, you find a way how not to lose money. So if you start implementing this process, your deals will go a lot easier, your walkthroughs will be a lot easier, and your buyers will be able to make decisions a lot faster. So hopefully that added value for you and your wholesale process. And if you're not in the game, do this because I promise you it'll save you a lot of money. So comment below, let me know what your thoughts are. If you do anything different than what we do, I'd love to hear it. While you're down there, make sure you smash that like button. YouTube loves that algorithm. If you could hit that like button for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can get all this content going forward. And as always, appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.